in any field of knowledge, okay, whether it's religious studies like me or whether it's, it's uh, you know, in any kind of intellectual discussion or even in any kind of social arena, there are certain assumptions uh, under which people operate. This is human nature. There's nothing wrong about it. But if you want to question those assumptions, you can question them from the outside. You can stand up and you can protest. You can say, this is, this is uh, wrong. You should not do it. Just like people, Hindus will sometimes come up, come to an academic conference and they will sit in the audience and then they will ask very sharp questions to the speaker and say, you assume this and you said this, but why do you speak like this? Mm -hmm. So you can do that. And it serves to, uh, you can say, um, you know, it's like, uh, it, it, it serves to activate the discussion, to raise the question, to push. Yes. But if you want to set the terms of the debate, then the best way to do it is to become an insider where you yourself become trained in the, the, that field of knowledge, understand the terms of the discourse, and then enter it as an expert, as a peer, and say, I'm not satisfied with the terms of discussion here. I want to change the questions being asked. Right? So the, the, you, if we, for example, we find more devotees children becoming scholars, becoming academics, we can change the terms of the discussion uh, in ways that are academically rigorous and accepted by our peers, right? Because we are now one of them. We are part of them. We're never one of them in the sense that uh, we are always Vaishnavas, we're always devotees. I'll give you the example of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Sarvabhama Bhattacharya. For me personally, that Leela has been a great source of inspiration in my academic seva. Because notice what Mahaprabhu does. He comes there and he takes on a humble stance first. And he says, yes, you please teach me what is Vedanta. He listens for seven days continuously. And after he has done that, Okay, put in his tapasya. Then Sarva Bhama Bhattacharya says, you have something to say? And Mahaprabhu says, yeah, well, actually I have a lot to say. Uh, your whole discussion on Vedanta is very learned, but the terms of your discourse are not one that I accept. You're beginning from the assumption of impersonalism and I don't accept that. Right? So for me, it was like in the academic world, not seven days, but seven years of listening humbly, and taking in, taking in, taking in. And after you get your PhD, then finally someone will ask you, so you have something to say, Dr. Gupta? And you say, actually, I have a lot to say on this matter. 